is it time to reinvent Thor? Well, Chris Hemsworth seems to think so. And in a recent interview, he broke down some of his thoughts on the future of the God of Thunder and him returning for a future installment of the franchise. Let's take a couple minutes to break it down. Well, to be fair, the God of Thunder has a special place in the MCU. He is the only character with four solo installments, and his overall character arc within the Infinity Arc and now in this new Phase 4 is something that's been pretty interesting and had a little bit of variation. Now recently, Chris Hemsworth himself was talking a little bit with the Happy Sad Confused podcast and gave some of his thoughts on the future of the franchise and what it really would take for him to return for another solo Thor adventure. This is what he had to say. You look at Thor 1 and Thor 2, they were quite similar. Ragnarok and Love and Thunder are similar. I think it's about reinventing it. I've had unique opportunity with Infinity War and Endgame to do very drastic things with the character. I enjoy that. I like keeping people on their toes. It keeps me on my toes. It keeps me invested. I've said this before, but when it becomes too familiar, I think there's a risk in getting lazy then because I know what I'm doing. I don't know if I'm even invited back. But if I was, I think it would be to have a drastically different version in tone, everything, just for my own sanity. Thor lost his mind in the last one. He's got to figure it out now. Now, I have to say, his words are pretty interesting, but it doesn't really sound like Chris Hemsworth was too happy with how Thor Love and Thunder worked out. To refer to his character losing his mind, well, I have to say, that seems to point to some of the problems that do exist in the movie. Everything from him riding Stormbreaker like a witch's broom to some of the rather cheesy scenes left a lot of fans, well, I think over Watidi'd. And at this point, I think he's ready to do a new version of Thor. Now, like Hemsworth points out, we've had three versions of the character. The Thor from the first two movies, the Thor from the Russo Avengers movies, and then the Thor from those Ragnarok films. So the character's reinvention is already baked into his DNA inside the MCU. If they do do a reinvention, I really do feel like, though, they need to do at least two films. And the idea of him cutting it short after five doesn't really work if they're going to give us a new take on the character. So for this, we need to keep Chris Hemsworth pretty happy. Now, obviously, there's multiple storylines that they could go with here, but I think first and foremost, they need to serious him up and maybe even focus on a new Asgard. Potential for a story that involves a lot of the dead gods returning would really work well, and sliding back the jokes and clownishness is something that has to be done. Quite honestly, people love that Thor from Infinity War, and I think that's where we need to go back to. Now, as for an overall art or story, I see two really good places where they could take a very, very serious turn with Thor. The ensuing Vibranium War that is coming to Earth in the MCU, well, this is going to play big in future phases. A conflict is brewing with Wakanda, Tola Khan, and the U.S. government. And this sets the stage for new Asgard to take sides and make enemies. This already seems to be in the works, and will start to come to fruition probably in the Thunderbolts. I'm pretty sure new Asgard and their technology have already garnered a lot of attention from all parties involved, and to me most likely would be inclined to side with Wakanda or even Tala Khan, or both. Now, if you think back to when new Asgard was formed in Marvel Comics, new Asgard did have some conflicts with the US government and S.H.I.E.L.D. That really didn't work out too great for Tony Stark, but something along that nature would really play out well in the MCU, especially given the current storyline. The other option for Thor, though, is to go full cosmic and have Thor face some threat potentially on another planet. Some great comics took this on, and it is a way to intro really interesting new characters from Thor's mythos that we haven't got to meet yet. Probably the first one that comes to mind is Beta Ray Bill, but one hero that has crossed paths with the God of Thunder in the past is the Silver Surfer, and that would be an unexpected surprise. Another path really would be one of my favorite Thor stories of all time known as Alone Against the Celestials. This takes us way back to 1992 and sees Thor face off directly with the powers that we were introduced to in the Eternals movie. This would be a spectacular story to bring to life in the MCU, and at this point we have all the components in place. It also would keep Thor off the radar, giving all these new heroes on Earth time to grow while still allowing fans to follow their favorite God of Thunder. Now, I do think Thor has a rich future in the MCU, and I don't think Hemsworth is going anywhere. We know he's taking some time off, 
to face off with some potential health issues that could manifest in the future. I think fans should probably give him a break. And given his concerns and need to spend time with his family, I actually think that plays positive for his future as a god of thunder. Quite honestly, Hemsworth could fill his pockets for the rest of his life just playing Thor. And I love him in the role, so I do look forward to him returning. I also would love to see them serious up the character. I did like Watiti's Ragnarok, but I have to say, Love and Thunder pretty much took it too far, and the jokes are kind of just not working anymore. Bring him back to that serious guy that was ready to take on the universe at the end of Infinity War, and I think we might have something new and pretty interesting. Now, obviously, we cover the MCU and the God of Thunder on this channel, so make sure you hit that like and subscribe button and ring the bell for all the news. But until we know more, what do you guys think? How do you feel about reinventing the God of Thunder for some more movies in the MCU? And do you have a storyline you would like to see the character brought to life in? Tell me what you think in the comments below. If you like this video, make sure you hit like, click subscribe, and if you don't ring that bell, you won't get any updates. Peace.